This episode of the Flavor Flav Show is brought to you guys by Tote and Carry, the ultimate travel bag, and also travel bag sets. Travel bag sets consist of two travel bags, a vest, and a backpack. Check out the backpack. So check out the link in the description and pick up some of these bags, y'all. Let me tell you something, man. When it comes down to rap music, hey, yo, check this out. There's only really like very few hype men in a rap music game. You heard? Well, guess what? This brother that I'm about to bring on right now, you know what I'm saying? Is one of the biggest hype men in the world besides Flav. You know what I'm saying? Word up on his trip. Not only that, but you know what? This brother right here, y'all see my boy with my dude, Buster Rhymes. Introducing, no further ado, my man, Spliff Star. Yo, Spliff, hey. What's up, baby? Thank you for coming by my spot, I man. Got you, man. You know that. Right? Split star, everybody. Yeah, wow, that's right, boy. Flip mode, all that. You know what I'm saying? Word up, G. Hey, yo, guess what? Not only do we riff, but we about to shoot the gift. Let's do that. You know what I'm saying? Let's so, thank you for coming by my spot, oh, my, 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 my G. Honor. Uh-huh. Wow, uh-huh. <laughs> Spliff star on my show, man. Yo, uh-huh. Spliff, have a seat right there at that uh-huh. first pillow uh-huh. right there, man. Got you, got you, got you. I Spliff star, uh-huh. baby. Uh-huh. Yeah, boy. Hey, I'm the only one that can pull shit off like this. Y'all, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy, flavor, flavor in the building. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to tell you something. A guy like me is going to go real, real far. Right here in my studio, uh-huh. I got my dude, uh-huh. Spliff Star. Yeah, big bro. Yeah, boy. Up, big bro. <laughs> Yo, Spliff, man. Uh-huh. Thanks for coming by my spot, uh-huh. man. Where up, man? It's an honor to be here with you, man. How you doing, my brother? What's God going bless. on? I mean, sure. I'm hard working still. Um, Buster's still in the studio going at it like he never had a deal. Um, we still killing shit on the, on the, on the stages everywhere we go. Uh, the love in the game is real. Uh, and I'm I'm just I'm trying to find the next new artist out there so he'll keep another 10, 15, 20 years in the game, you know? Wow. Yeah. Hey, yo, let me tell you something, man. Mm-hmm. First of all, I just want to say these two things, man. First of all, I'm honored <laughs> to have you here at my spot, man. Thank you for coming through. You Thank know you. what I'm saying? Thank you. Thank you. For and, and, and not only that, but let me tell you something, man. Mm-hmm. It's like, I mean... I don't never get too many guests in here where I get lost for words, all right? Yo, Spliff, bro, you got me a little lost for words right now, man. The word up, G, because I'm, <laughs> I'm excited, bro. You know oh, what I'm man. saying? Let me tell you something, man. I've always been proud of you, bro. You, you know what I'm Thank saying? You. The way that you've been out there on the stage with Buster, man. You know Thank what I'm you. saying? And, 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 and the way you hold Buster down. That's what I'm You know what I'm bro. saying? I mean, I mean... You hold Buster down, bro. Thank you so much. You know what I'm saying? For real. And for all of these years, Spliff, mm. you've been doing a good job, man, at holding my boy down, man. Thank you know man. what I'm Thank saying? You, you know. Uh-huh. I mean, you know. Everybody, just to let y'all know, if y'all don't know who Spliff Star is, that's right. When you see Buster Rhymes on stage and you see a young man on the stage with Buster Rhymes, that's Spliff Star. You know what I'm saying? Spliff Star is like Buster Rhymes. Hype man, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I wouldn't call him the hype man. I call him the right man. I die. <laughs> That's what we call it. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Word up, G. So just to let y'all know, Spliff Star, you know what I'm saying? Comes from the Flip Mode Squad. My boy Buster Rhymes. Squad. You know what it's I'm saying? Dude. Word up. It's and dude. it's crazy because I remember back in the days, man, when... uh. You know, we put leaders of the new school together, man. You yes, know what I'm did. saying? In the whole nine. Mm-hmm. And 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 I remember when Chuck D giving Buster his name, Buster Rhymes. Yes. He named Buster Rhymes after a football Ball player, player. Yeah. that was named Buster Rhymes. Facts. Yes, he did. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. In the whole nine. The next thing you know, you know what I'm saying? I mean, 
Buster's character, man, when he came out with that, oh my God, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> that was like Flav all over. <laughs> I was like Flav all over B, you know what I'm of saying? Course. In the whole nine. He came so, from that tree. So so Busta Rhymes, Buster Rhymes was like like a hype man too. Mm -hmm. You know, he was like the hype man for leaders of the new school. Facts, facts. You facts. know what I'm saying? Yeah. In the whole nine. Mm -hmm. Then, as a solo artist, he just went off and did his thing and became phenomenal. Definitely. And he added you onto the package. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you became Busta Rhymes hype man. Yeah. And I remember, man, when I, I think this is when I first met you, we were all out on tour together. Yes, sir. And it was Public Enemy, Busta Rhymes. With I, it was the Smoking Squad. Grooves tour. Was that Smoking Grooves smoking tour? Grooves. Maya was on the tour smoking with us. Smoking Grooves. Black Eyed Peas. Smoking Grooves. Black Eyed wow. Peas at that time had what? like seven, ten minutes on stage. Maya just right. was starting right. out. Maya was just starting out. And, just, just starting and, and her out. And show, her show was eight minutes. Man, I used to chase Maya around. I'm trying to buy you. She was a cutie back then. She was a cutie now. Yes, but she But I is. knew her from way back then from her first start. I think her dad was manager at the time. Uh -huh. um, we had a lot of fun. Um, the Black Eyed Peas was on there. They had like seven to ten minutes on stage, but they right. killed it every time. I'm so proud of them because I watched them grow. Right. You know what I mean? Mad shout out goes to the black, yep. black Mad Shout Out goes to the black eyed peas. Well, I and also you too, Maya. Uh -huh. I love you. She look gorgeous. Yeah, she, she still look gorgeous. She don't today. eat meat. She's dissing them. Yeah. <laughs> Tanta delicious. <laughs> <laughs> that's no when the, that's when I like kind of first met you, man. Mm. You know what I'm saying, Spliff? Yes, sir, man. I just want to say, man, you, you came a long way, bro. Yes, I did. A man, long and I'm way. I'm very grateful and humble about it. And God is good, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of us right now that ain't around to talk about it. Big facts. You know what I'm saying? We've been losing some great people. You know what I'm saying? My man DMX, God bless him. Condolences. My man Ecstasy from Houdini, God bless him. You know what I'm saying? Black Rob, God bless him. Condolences. My boy Shock G, Humpty Hump. Condolences. God bless him. You know what I'm saying? And, and the whole nine. And then today I heard a sad story. Biz Marky. Biz Marky, oh my God. Oh Biz God. is gone. Let me tell you a story about Biz. Wait, when I first made Biz, right? Okay. They had this, they got this. This school called Bishop Lachlan in Brooklyn. What's the name of it? Bishop Lachlan, I think. Bishop Lachlan, I hope I'm saying it right. It was an all-girls school, something like that. Okay. Downtown on Fulton, right there in Brooklyn. Uh-huh. So that's I, where you from, Brooklyn. I'm, a, I'm East Flatbush Church Ave all day. Yes, bro. Wow, Brooklyn, East day. Flatbush in you know, the building. Wow, you know that. Hey, yo, I'm going to interrupt you for one second. You know why? Because uh -huh. I used to live in East New York too. Same you way. know what I'm saying? I used to live on a street called Park Place. Wow. In between okay. Eastern Parkway and Saratoga, there was uh, a hill there, and I lived there. Yeah. And you know, and then right across was Pickens Avenue. Mm -hmm. And I used to, I used to walk down Eastern Parkway, all down the Schenectady, what? all the way up to Flatbush. Goddamn, all that. That's a walk. Yeah, yo, yes, it <laughs> was a walk. walk. But you know what? But back in them days, uh -huh. man, listen, it yeah. was. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. You know, before you know it, man, before you know it, you at Flatbush Avenue. You know, just, no doubt. You know, I, I would say East Flatbush is the heart of Brooklyn. Right. Because we have a little bit of this, a little bit of that. You know what I mean? Right. Every nationality is in Brooklyn. East right. Flatbush, especially. Right. The best food comes from East Flatbush, Brooklyn. Period. I mean, not mad at that, brother. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Word yeah. up, man. Beef <laughs> patty, cocoa bread. You know what I'm saying? Word up. Oh, man. Yeah, man. I'm from Brooklyn, man. That's where you know, I met. But I mean, I had to interrupt you for a second, but That's you cool. was getting ready to tell me something. You was getting ready to go into a zone about Brooklyn. Oh, Brooklyn, yeah. East Flatbush, Brooklyn. Um, that's where I grew up at. Um, uh huh. Um, I met Buster there. And he was nine years old. I was 11. So you've been knowing Buster Rhymes, man, since you was 11 years old and he was nine? Yeah. For my children. You've been knowing him that long? Children, teens, 20s, 30s, all the way to a grown man age. Yeah, man. Uh, I mean,. That's my boy. That's why we last this much, this long in the business. Because, um, you know, you see a lot of people come in this business and they separate because of one with more shine than the other or it's more about money or, you know, about chicks or whatever the stupidness. They separate and they mess up what they started because of that. 
me. This is my man from the sandbox. So you know, um, always been a, a right. type, always been a type hustler. So having money and fresh clothes was nothing new to me. Right. Um, you know, I wasn't thirsty for it like that. And, and my friend meant more important to me because I never seen a dollar bill jump in the ocean or a pool and save anybody. Right. But my man could do that. You know what I'm saying? Even no though doubt. even though Buster can't swim, at least he can say help. You know what I mean? Right, right. No but <laughs> <laughs> You a fool, man. Yeah, but yeah. but that's my dog. And, and what I'm trying to say is that no matter what it is, disagreement, whatever, is my brother. And I'm really rocking with him till the wheels fall off because that's where we came from. That little child, innocent time all the way to this grown man age stuff right now. And... You know what I mean? It don't make no sense. This is this is this is my brother. He's he became my friend, then he turned into my brother, which is certified family right now. You know what I'm saying? Right. And it's like that from the from the industry to in the streets. Right. Like all the street cats know. They know what it is. If, if somebody mess with Buster, they, they know how I'm gonna react. I'm a, I'm a, it's gonna be something like Shine did for Diddy type thing. Wow. Okay. That, that's how nobody can't stop me. You can't tell me nothing of nothing. There's not only a, a dude that, you know, helped me get in the game or whatever, or put me on, so called. Say, I would say he didn't. I say my talents put me on, you know. I right. would say that um, he saved my life. Buster. Yeah, I would say he saved my life. I, I would say more like that. That's right. what he did for me because I was dedicated. To the, I was dedicated to the streets. Right. You know what? What? What was a joke to somebody? I'm dead ass about it. Right. My life changed around. My son is 20 right now. At 20, I was doing jail time. I was going in and out. I was shooting at people, getting shot, all kind of shit. My son is a quarterback of his wow. co uh, college. My son manages his artists in the music game. That's big. So when these, are my, these are my achievements. If anybody want to know where your mansion at, well, look, look at my kids. My there kids, you go. My kids look living definitely better than you. That's a great way to put it, bro. So just look at my kids, and you will see all of my riches if you just look at my children. This is, this is the reflection. That's my reflection right there. Right. You know what I'm saying, um, you know, I work hard. I work hard. I make Buster hustle my right. hustle. I made Buster dream my right. dream. I, I made it to ours. That's why we unfuckable with. That's right. We unfuckable you. with, period, and all kind of levels. You know what I'm saying? That's right. I had to really see and respect the drive that Buster have to right. be in tune with him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. Buster drive is so serious and so passionate. Yes. You know, people think he's he, definitely got that drive, yeah. man. So people, he Buster be, got the drive. He'll be bro. talking, and people think he arguing. It's yes. not that. It's just that he has he has conviction and passion for the shit. And another person might feel that way because you know why? They don't have that drive. They don't, they don't have that conviction. And they definitely don't have that passion. Right. That's all. That's the only way. That's that why you can't understand it. Why you feel a way about something or whatever. Because over here, it's nothing but victory. Over here, it's nothing but victory. Right. For 28 years for me, going 31 for him. Okay, wow. he saved my life. I could have been in jail doing forty years, some shit like that. I could right. have been in the in the in the ground, right? Maggot food, nigga. You know, but instead, I'm running around this with this motherfucker meeting the real Don Cornelius, jumping on the stage that Michael Jackson and 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 and, 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 and all the greats been on before, and I'm on the same stage, Soul Train, Public Enemy being on the stage. I met the real Don Cornelius. Wow. Wow. I'm, a, I'm a six time felon. I don't believe I, I'm on my seventh passport. Wow. Wow. That's big. My father is a hard working man. Came from Trinidad. He owned, uh, he was a super in the Bronx for maybe a year. Then after that, he owned a, a gas station on the Major Deacon, right there on the Major Deacon in the Bronx. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. Then from that, we moved to Brooklyn. My daddy, I didn't grow up in no projects. I didn't grow up. My father didn't really fuck with the welfare shit. He he believed in get your money. Be an entre he used to say entrepreneur. Be an entrepreneur. <laughs> yeah. So yo, I like that. You know, be I an like that entrepreneur. Yeah. You so, motherfucking name. So I'm with you, baby. My dad had a, he made, he had a construction company called the Black Rock Home Improvement. 
I I will tell you right now. <laughs> I could build this. I could I could build this fucking room, but I hate it. I hate the dirt. I hate the 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 the, the, the splinters. The fucking nail. The hammer hitting. The cement mixing. I hate it all. Yeah. I used to do it with my dad because as you know, if I want to get fresh, buy my, my sheepskins and shit. I have to work with my father. You used to work with your dad. Yeah, yeah, with my father, man. Even though I didn't like the work. You know, we could do it. Me and my brothers, I got siblings, and they could do it. They they better at it than me. They, they'll they fix this. they make this whole house over. They'll do it. But me, I didn't like it. I'm more like my Uncle Franklin. May he rest in peace. My Uncle Franklin was like the, the, the hustler Mac pimp of the family. He's always clean, nails done. He got, he's got chicks like switching like socks, keeping black. Right, bad ones. Wow. All colors. Asian. That's the first time I've seen a black man with an Asian. First time I've seen a black man with a white one. Sound like Flavor Flav. The, the, <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You see my show. You see my show. And I had all nationalities, baby. But <laughs> hey, yo, Flav, my Uncle Franklin, man, he was just that dude. He was so fly with it. So yeah. He, he, my, I, my dad is my idol. But my uncle had right. slaves. And I was attracted to that. There right. was two idols I had in my whole entire life that I wanted to be like, and it was two men. One is William Lewis, which is my dad. Which is your dad. The second man was a white man. His name is Hugh Hefner. May he rest in peace. Wow. I wanted to be like Hugh Hefner so bad. I got to meet him once, too. I got to meet him twice. I went to a party on some regular shit. Then me and Buster went there with Funk Master Flex. Shout out to Funk Flex. We went there and we performed. And I got to sit down with um, Hugh Hefner's son, who looked just like him and shit. Wow. And he was kicking it. And I went, uh, uh, I was messing with little mates, and I went to the back by the monkeys. And, you know, she, she was right there. We was talking. The next thing you know, she was started, eep, and then I went, over there, and then I went over there, and then I went, eep, and she was going, eep. You know how that went. And it was a lovely night. You know what I mean? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it was plain and simple. You know what I mean? Like yeah. that. Uh-huh. Yeah. And as time go on, man, I just... I just enjoy myself with life, and I'm very proud of some of the comrades I came up with in this game. Right. Like Jay-Z for number one. Uh-huh. No Jigger man. Jigger man, know him from Brooklyn. Shout out to Jigger, Jay-Z. Man, listen, man, he's one artist that I just look at and I go, wow, bro, and I clap. I just clap for that man every time, you know, because... He's from Brooklyn. Wow. He, Marcy. Yeah, he's been in the struggle just like me. You know what I'm saying? He came right. up He came up with one parent like me. I mean, you know, he had his mother. I only had a father. I ain't had no mother. So, you know, he came up just like me. He'd been there. He'd done that. And to watch where he is right now, what he's doing for his kids and how he built himself and stuff like that. Like, you know, if you were congratulated and you far from a hater, your heart pours nothing but joy for that person. Right. Sometimes I don't even know a person. I watch American Idol. I don't even know that person. You see a little bit story about their life, and then they doing all this singing every week, and they finally win. For some strange reason, I feel like I have some kind of spiritual relationship with them. I feel happy for them. I'm overwhelmed. Shit, I fuck around. Probably bust a tear or two because it's out of joy. Right. It's just that I'm that kind of person. I'm happy for people. I don't like to see people suffering. I don't like to see um, nobody chilling. I don't, I don't like none of that. You know what I mean? Right. If, I could, if I could afford to, I'm going to change it. That's just me. Right. You know I mean, look, man, look, when you, when you go, God going to ask you two questions. What you did with your life, nigga? Okay, now what you did for somebody else? See, those are two questions. What you did with the life I gave you? Okay, now what you did for somebody else? Hey, are you forgetting that? Now nah, there's a third question. What's the one? The third question is, so what you going to do now? <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, hey, as it is on earth. Hey, you got to throw, you gotta throw that one in there. Okay, look. well, then you, you put that on there. You got to throw that one in there. You got that one in there now. I'll tell you that. You got that one in there now. What, 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 yo, what have you been doing? What have you done for somebody else? Okay, now what you going to do now? Nah, exactly. <laughs> hey, look, man. You know what? With my wings on, I'm going to say, I'm going to stay fly, baby. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's what I'm going to do with the wings. I'm going to stay fly. So, That's right, yeah. baby. Word That's up. Right. Fly. <laughs> I'm with you, man. Uh-huh.
Bill Spliff, man. Damn, Bill man, Spliff. this is crazy having you here, bro. Everybody, just to let y'all know, that's right. I got my boy Spliff Star from Flip Mode Squad mm -hmm. right here in my building. That you know what fun. I'm saying? Word up, G. You know what I'm saying? I hate man for Buster Rhymes. Yo, Buster! <laughs> hey, the general. I got your man here. I got your man here, Buster Bus. Exactly. Yeah, but boy. Buster's coming here next. Buster's coming. Oh yeah, next. yo, yo, I'm gonna get bust up in here. Trust me, that's, get, that's your nephew. He coming. Next. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get, uh, I'm gonna get bust up in here. You know what I'm saying? This, oh, it's going down. You know uh -huh. what I'm saying? For real, we gotta talk about how it started all back at 510 South Franklin Avenue wow. in Hempstead. That's where it all started out. We put leaders to the new school together. We also put a group together called Young Black Teenagers. Yeah, I remember them. Shout from, out to them. Uh, yeah. yeah, shout out to my <laughs> man Cameron. Shout out to uh, um, um, DJ Scribble. Wow. Yeah, Scribs come from them too, yes, man. Yes, That's where Scribs yes. come from. It's crazy that, yo, that always bugged me out, the Young Black Teenagers. They call them Young Black Teenagers, but these motherfuckers was looking like the they were white boys. They were white boys. Right. And it ain't no black. That shit all me out, but I, I like the motherfuckers. Especially the one with the dress. That was my boy. I forgot his name. No doubt. So, how does it feel, man? You know what I'm saying? Rolling with the number one. I don't care what nobody say, man. He's like the number one rap god in history. Mm. Buster Rhymes, man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because let me tell you something, man. Buster knows all of his shit, and he knows his mathematics. Yes, he do. You know what I'm saying in the whole nine, and, <coughs> yes, and I like the way I like the way that Buster Rhymes rolled up on Bobby Schmurda, mm. and he said, "It's like, hey, how you doing, Bobby? I'm your elder." Wow! <laughs> and you know what, Bobby mm. Schmurda? Gave him nothing but mad respect, man. Mad respect. You know oh, what I'm what saying? Mean? Because let me tell you something, man. Buster, man, he has years and years and years and years and years and years of knowledge of writing rhymes and spitting rhymes. Yes, yeah, he's 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 had battles. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? And yes, I gu guarantee you, ain't nobody ever took Buster out. Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -mm. All of that fast tongue. Tongue talking shit that I can't do it. You Back, know what I'm Buster, saying? Buster, Buster, Buster lost Buster. one battle. Hey yo, let me tell you. He huh? lost one battle. And that battle happened in Western House. Buster Rhymes lost a battle? Yes, that, that to battle. To who? Jay-Z. Jay-Z beat out Buster. I'm gonna tell you why. This is why Buster rapped fast now. Cause back then Jay-Z was rapping fast. He wasn't rapping slow like he rapped now. Jay-Z was rapping fast, you know, the Holly, um, Hawaii thing and all that shit that he was doing. So you think that's where all of that fast rapping shit oh, comes from now? I, uh, from from from, from HOV? From no, Ho? it, it didn't come from him. It's just that Bus wasn't really doing that style. See, that style, that speed of rap came from Jamaica, first of all. Let me put that out there. Um, rapping. Wow. Rapping came from Jamaica. They call it chatting, but we call it rapping. Different thing. I'm a cool Herc Jamaican. He brought that over here. You know what I'm saying? Right. We, we call it chatting. They, in Jamaica, they call it chatting. Here in America, we call it rapping. So if you hear... Right. And so we hear Super Cat going, Second, me say, Cat, because you know you're dancing it up. Anyway, you go, you walk for hell and pull up. American style. Yes, Mr. Flay, we know I'm chilling. What's up? Anyway, you go, I know how long I'm pull up. It's the <laughs> same shit. Same shit. But in a different twang. But in a different So the hip hop there language. There was two reggae artists named Lieutenant Stitchy and Papa San. They was speed rapping. They was the first song he had one of the songs I remember it went Many men don't many men don't they love man love man man he tell I said, What the fuck? What happened just now? Like it passed me. He said many, many Many, uh, many many girls nowadays love money man love money man that's what he's saying but he's saying it so fast like many many girls nowadays I love money man love money man I'm like whoa <laughs> then you got then you got Papa San and Lieutenant Stitch if you google them and you look them up on YouTube Papa San or Lieutenant Stitchy I swear to you you will see all of Twister all of Buster Rhymes all of Doug Thugs Bone and Harmony. Anybody spitting quick like that? 
That's where it came from. That's the se- that's that right there is the seed of it. Wow. They are the seeds of it. There's an artist named Tiger. Remember Tiger back in the day? Tiger, yeah, Tiger. Had the plays at the bomb bomb. If you watch Tiger how he performs, they go your spliff star. You mean the Tiger today? Uh no, I'm talking about Tiger from back then. That is your spliff star. Wow. That's your spliff star. Because there was a tiger back in the day, and there's a tiger today. Well, there's the, the tiger rapping tiger right now. We're not talking about him. Okay. We're talking about the Jamaican artist named Tiger. He's the original tiger. He's the original tiger. He's the original tiger. Is that where, is that where today's tiger get his tiger, his name from, you think? Uh, no, I think from he got From the Jamaican his, tiger? No, or? I think maybe it's some other thing he got. I don't know. Because I like tiger, man. Yo, man, shout out goes out to you too, yeah. tiger. Tiger's my little brother. I love, up, I, love man. I love tiger, man. I, I fuck with tiger. That's the homie, man. You know what I'm saying? But no, nah, I, I think tiger got his name somewhere else. I don't know. And, but this tiger, Jamaican tiger, dance yeah. hall tiger, is a performer. Like he he raised up. Like you talking about when Jamaica have Sting and all that, man. You talking about half the country there. So you you talking more than ten thousand people there, right? And this one little short Jamaican dude get on stage and it's like a tornado, b. Wow, that is your split star. Wow, there's a there's an artist named Admiral Bailey. Look how he dressed and everything. Josie Wales. Look how they dress. That's your Biggie Smalls. Wow. You'll find your Tupac in there, and everybody could match up somebody with somebody that is just that. But we go in a different term. We're talking differently. Okay? We're talking differently, but we're saying the same thing. Just like there's gospel records, you know, our grandmothers used to have in the house and stuff like that. Right. Um. Okay, we know one or two songs, you know, and we like it because grandma sang it, so we grew up learning to sing it. But was we really playing the gospel record and listening to it, like jamming to it? No, we wasn't. That's not what we wanted to do. The gospel record that we was listening to that made it so simple for us, for all of us to rock to, was Bob Marley. Wow. See, he he broke the whole... I remember back in the days, gospel music, like, oh, happy day. Yeah. You know, mm. and the whole nine. You know, what see I'm now, that that right there, the whole happy days and stuff like that, is it is 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 a is a is a gospel, but it's a so cheerful song. Right, it's a cheerful song for a person that don't even go to church will hear that and start moving. Just right. the words alone make you feel good. Oh, happy day. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's what it did for me. Word. It makes you happy. Make you get up. Right now, you have certain gospels. That it's like dragging. Uh huh. It's talking the positive and the good. Right. It's so dragging that we don't pay attention to that. I'd rather go listen to opera. No doubt. You did? No doubt. So. And I like opera music too, yeah. man. Just to let you know. Yeah, I love all Because I'm a musician, man. Yeah, you know what I'm what saying? And I like all genres of music, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We have. I sit there and I, Bob Marley. To me, he broke the Bible down in his music. Mm-hmm. You know, he said, "Man, the three birds." Came Have you ever met him? No, I was a baby. I what was... about any of his kids? Oh yes, let me tell you something. I got the honor <laughs> and the privilege to jump on the stage and perform with the Wailers, the original band. Wow, the original I Trees, and wow. all the Molly kids, Ziggy. All of them. Wow. Okay, me and Buster, we had did a record with them. It's called Babylon Chant. Uh-huh. Babylon Chant Down, which I got a nice plaque in my house for that. And TNT, the channel, TNT, right. covered this concert. Uh-huh. It, it was in Jamaica. Uh-huh. Shout out to Evie Eve. She was on the stage. Wow. Tracy Chaplin. A lot of big... Uh, the queen, Latifah herself, was right. there too. Um, it was a beautiful night. Mind you, it was raining, y'all. But this rain felt like no rain I've ever felt in my life. Uh-huh. I don't know if it was Marley crying and or just showering this down with his love. But that, that night was a very special night to me. If anybody asks me, you know, what's the biggest shows you've done? I did many big shows. Right. But being on the stage 
with the whalers. With the whalers. The original I trees. I'm talking about Z and the mother. The yeah. auntie is right there on the side. The, the three women that used to sing with Bob Marley is there. Bob Marley's daughters, all his kids, and to be on stage with them. Um and to go to Jamaica and perform with these people. It's like being on the stage with Michael and his family, bro. Wow. Period. It's like being on the stage with Jackson's. How about that? Okay? And yes, I did that. I don't know too much rappers that could say right. they did that. Ah, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and I'm happy. And I'm proud. And God don't put you where you don't belong. Hey, yo, let me tell you something, man. I want to say, too, man, that I, I, I had the honor to meet the Whalers. Woo! And I was I I I I I was on a I went out on their stage, you know, when they were performing. I went out on their stage, man. I just did it just so I could say I was out there with the world. <laughs> yeah. I met them, uh -huh. and the same day that I was out there with them, also with Soul to Soul. Wow. Yo, let me tell you, Spliff, Spliff Star, man, that was that day to me was. So big, bro. It had to be. You know what I'm saying? Being on a stage with Soul to Soul and then the to Whalers be. too. Had you know to what be. I'm saying? So I can, I can, I can, I can feel your excitement. What? That you had. Yes, sir. You know when you were with them, man. Come on, even even when I met um the father of Funk himself, Jordan Clinton, man. And right. I, I'm on the stage with George Clinton. George. You know yes, we're talking about you, George. <laughs> yes, we are. We are talking about you, George. Me yeah, and Buster man. on stage with George. <laughs> At the same damn time, George is there. Yeah. Run DMC is there. Wow. I'm like, all right, I ain't gonna lie. I went to my dressing room after uh -huh. all of that. Went to the bathroom, closed the door, shared a tear too of joy. I was very happy. I was proud of myself. I was thanking God for, you know, like moments like this. I always right. say, I always say, God don't put you where you don't belong, you know, good or bad. You right. Know? I, you know, and, you know, I couldn't believe it. I was there with my childhood friend making all these, all these, executions we doing breaking barriers we going through my childhood friend and i'm actually meeting people who my father love wow I that's meet, big i'm meeting gladys knights i'm meeting uh, uh paler bells i'm meeting those genre people who my father love banging their music out people who i grew up to right listening in, in, in into the house with right so i'm finally meeting them man and i'm like wow vin 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 rames shout out to vin rames Wonderful, Big yeah, one of the wonderful actors. Before 106 and Park shut down, I saw Vin Rains backstage. He saw Buster. He was talking to Buster and all that. Then I heard this voice just scream very loud. Oh my God! There he goes! There he goes! The <laughs> superstar! He's a star! Don't care what nobody say. This is the man. I'm, I'm looking both over my both shoulders. Vin Rains is talking to me, like. Wow. I'm like, for real, bro? I didn't even know you watching me like that, bro. <laughs> this is the love I'm getting. Yeah. Erica Badu. Yeah. It's my birthday right here in LA. It was my birthday. April Erica! 18. I miss you. I love you. Love her to Going death. out to Erica Badu, too. Happy to shout sis. you out, sis. Big sis. Shout out my man Rashad. Let me tell you. Erica Badu, Grammy Award winning already. Multi platinum already. Caked right. up already. Ready. That's right. She is sitting on the floor of my hotel room at the Le Park Hotel right here in LA. In front of my door at 3.30 in the morning with two shot glasses, a sombrero on her head to sing me happy birthday. God damn it. Wow. Why I wasn't doing video cameras back then to catch that shit. And up to this day, I tell people that story because it meant a lot to me more than she even could even imagine. It meant a lot to me. This is this is love. This is love. It has to be genuine because I didn't ask for it. Right. They, they, they're not getting nothing out of just doing that, just to do it. It's natural. Just like when I see you and you go out your way to say hi to me and show me love and whatever you need, split February, I don't have to question you. That shit is natural from Flav because he's been doing that from day one. He know me. Right. She My been guy. she's been like that with me ever since. Her and Buster did the song together called One on his album. Mm -hmm. And she's been like that with me ever since. Missy, 
the first person to give me te tequila and fuck my brain up. Wow, Missy Elliott? Well, it had me looking like a quarter to three. <laughs> <laughs> Missy! Mm -hmm. I love Missy, man. Yeah. Yo, bad shout out to Missy Elliott, You too. know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's right. The, we bringing your name up on my show, that, Missy. That's right. I mean... I love you. The first time, you know, between Ice Cube and Snoop Doggy Dog gave me the, the California love. The first time I taste the flowers and Snoop never changed on me. Snoop always giving me my flowers every mic he touched, any... Um, right. He always give me love. Um, you know, the whole dog pound. That's why I'm so close with DJ Sullivan and the rest of them because I ain't letting nothing change. I know these I know these cats over 20 years. I ain't going to, nothing going to change. You know what I'm saying? Right. I, 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 I'm, I'm happy and it makes my family happy. Like my Aunt Pat, when she see me, when she see her pictures with you and she see that we did a, a, a part together, She's gonna love it because she love you. So so wow, so, so when she see me with you, she she love me. She see me with Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre, as big as he is, he shows Spliff Star immaculate love. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, and these are people that I genuinely keep close to my heart. Until right. I'm dead. I mean, shit, man. Anybody that don't show you love need to go get checked into the hospital. <laughs> I'm just serious, G, uh -huh. because you the you, you the type of person like Flav. You can't help but love us, man. You can't help but love Flav. You know what I'm That's saying? Right, in the whole nine. And I don't really have too many enemies out there. Same thing with you, man. You know your personality, Spliff. You know what I'm saying? And you're a very humble cat. Yeah. You man. know what I'm saying? And the whole shit, you know? So, I mean, there's no reason why nobody would, would not love you, bro. I feel you blessed. And as much love as you give, I feel you should be getting all... That's why you're getting all that shit back. Thank you. I, I, you know, I mean, I'm right now at this point in my life, I'm doing it for my kids and just want to make it better. And, and, you know, I'm all humble about it. I'm not no greedy, selfish man. I'm all right. about my team winning. Like, I don't like my team left back. And especially when I know they work hard to be on something. No, he might not be a big name and y'all don't know him in the industry and all that. That don't mean nothing. Once upon a time, niggas didn't know y'all neither. That's okay? right. So what, that's I'm not gonna right, stop for giving my man a position or a chance. You right. can't do that. That's why. Then, then what the fuck? Then the next two days in the morning, I heard something bad happen to him. That shit would crush me. Right. When I could have brought him with me. Yeah. You got what I'm saying? Fuck right. spending two uh, eight hundred dollars on this name brand shoes, man. My nigga right here, I could give him um five hundred dollars. He gonna be happy. But guess what? It's gonna make me more happier to know my man got the money instead of. Alex McQueen, who are the motherfuckers? Right. Gucci, I don't know Gucci. Gucci never came to my house and brought me a banana, G. Right, right. He never brought me a banana. But my man, oh, man, he done woke up in the morning. Before I woke up, he made me breakfast. He drive me here. He picked me up from the airport. Right. He, he make this call. He do that call. Uh-huh. You know, I mean... Shit, you know, I'm so passionate with conviction tools, so sometimes I might get on their nerves. But I watch every little shit they do because it yeah. means something to me. So how does it feel, bro? You know what I'm saying? Being out on these stages, man, in front of these big crowds with Buster, man. I mean, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and I mean, the way you hold Buster down is immaculate, man. You know what I'm saying? But how does it feel being out there, Spliff? Well, for a person that could have been dead or in jail, brother, uh -huh. I would say it's heaven. Right. I like doing it. Rather it's pay or no pay. Right. I want to do it. Right. It makes me feel good, bro. I I I do things that make me feel good. But it don't make me feel good, I stay the fuck away from it. Or get it away from me. I don't I don't I don't I don't think you know, at this point in our life that we should settle for less. I think we should settle for greatness. Right. We are great and we should settle for greatness and look for everything to be great and everybody around us, we have to position them to be great. Right. I don't want no fucking workers. I don't need no workers, brother. I need you to be bossed up when you get here. But understand this. Bosses take orders and they listen. That's how they became bosses. That's right. You dig? All right? So we leave all the egos Great scenario. out. All Great the scenario. egos out that way and all of that stuff. And, the, and us as men and as a unit, we're going to make this happen. That's how I believe. I did that on the street with a team selling like cardic. 30, 30 men selling like Cardiac, and I got that organized with a team. When that's the type of game you go to sleep, and the same guy you just soak to, he just shoot you in the head. You know? But wow. I, if I was able to control that with different egos and different men, this is rap, this is business, this is music business, please, bro. Like, 
I brought one of my friends. Uh huh. He used to be, uh, you know, a little hustle on the street. You know, uh huh. Got this rank up and all that. But thing, he went to jail. Things got bad for him. I told him, yo, listen, man, I can get you a job, but I don't know what it's going to be. I'm going to talk to Buster. We're going to get you right. Right. Because so, he's from the block, from the hood. Some people, you can give them something and they will be so appreciative they'll turn it into something else. And then some people, they don't appreciate it and they just become a leech and not doing whatever so you just get away because they're dead weight. I know that world. But this person, I brought him in. He was a roadie first. Carry bags, you know. Right. You know, artists are not easy to deal with. Right. You know? He dealt with all of that. He took, he did what he kept in mind. He never argued back. Not one time. Not one time. By the time he was doing the transition now, mm -hmm. we was chilling for him and it was more work. He has built a relationship with people that made them like him and they see how hard, work, how hard he worked for us mm -hmm. with no complaints. Right. That he became the tour manager for Missy, Kelly Rowland, and 50 Cent. They do not do a show without him. You hear me? Right, right. So, just when he was turning to Rody, it turned into something. Up to this day, he calls me on the phone. Yo, I just came back from Paris with Missy. And, yo, I, yo, I remember that day, man. You took me and they gave me that job. I love you for that. He don't know that I'm more happy than he is. <laughs> just to get that call. Yeah. Just to know my man is good. Fabio foreign. Swipey, the whole 800 foreign side, these you, these, the new generation of cats that's on that mic right now getting this money and doing it big. The whole drill scene, the whole Brooklyn drill scene, period. Yeah, I, I brought that to the game. I was the first one to tell them about it, everything. Wow. Unfortunately, you know, everything coming out of my pocket is too expensive. I can't really rock no more. Young brothers, y'all get ahead, do what y'all do. Y'all gonna get on. I believe in y'all. I'm gonna pray for y'all. Everything, no bad blood, nothing. Time pass on. Five year foreign got a deal. This one got a deal. That one is doing this. That one doing that. So, yeah, they got their deals without me, and that was my prayer. My prayer was with me or without me. I need their life to change. So I got what I wanted, and it was bigger than the check. Wow. My man, life change. Five year foreign life is changed. The gang life is changed. Right. So people walk up to me, man, you ain't getting no money. They ain't sending you no check. Nigga, I got the biggest check of them all. My young brothers are living. They're not in the hood. He's not going to go get shot and die and killed. And, and Okay? No doubt. Before if it was a 50, 50, 50 chance or 60, 40 chance, 60 that he'll die and 40 that he won't. Or it's 50 that he wouldn't fight it. Now, it's more like 80 he won't. 20, right. 20 anything can happen. But 80%, he don't. Because you don't have to go do what he used to do for a dollar no more. That's right. So that's, that's excuse. That, that street shit, that shit's dead. So when a motherfucker asks me, yo, you get the check, you get the money? Yeah, I got a lot of money. You don't see them? Look at them. The whole Brooklyn drill, the same thing I was telling everybody, and everybody was like, I don't know, I don't know. They all seeing it. They all talking like them. They all walking like them. They all want to dance like them. Yeah. This is the same shit Split Star been telling y'all. So that's telling me I'm on my job. I'm in tune. My ears is open, and I'm just great at what the fuck I do. And now that these guys, young guys, are moving around and all that, this is the fucking blessing. So my, my, my prayers were answered. So yes, I did get paid a lot of money. Ah, that's way more. That's way. That's way more money than cash, man. There you go. These way my, more money, these man. Are, cash, these, cash can't buy you all of that. These are still my little brothers. Cash man. couldn't even buy you all that, bro. These are still my. See, that's what I'm saying, man. Hey, yo, let me tell y'all something. I'm right here, right now, with my dude, Spliff Star, uh -huh. Split Mode Squad. You know what I'm saying? Bust the Bust the Rhymes hype, man. And let me tell you something. I care what nobody say besides Flav. This man is the most humblest man in the rap game. You know what I'm saying? Word up, G. And I'm hearing it all come out of him right now. And I hope you're hearing it too. You know what I'm saying? For real. I just had to keep y'all in tune on who's sitting on my couch. 
Hey, so you know, go ahead and pinch yourself so you can say <clears throat> ouch. You know all this shit we fighting for in the streets and what we fighting to get working so hard for all this materialistic shit and all that. You can't take none of it to the grave. That's right. But there's one. I thing. never seen a, I never seen a Brinks armored car follow a, <laughs> follow a hearse to the graveyard. Exactly. But You're what, right. But what we can take to the grave that you know you you work so hard on and you didn't have, you can't go to the store and buy it and it's called honor. I could go to my grave with honor. Right. I could have people talking good about me. I right. Have, I could have people genuinely missing me. I have, I have, I have influenced others that want to do what I do and even do better. But I influence them. They're going to always talk about me good. They're going to go to the classic video. Oh, my God. It's a classic forever. When hip-hop closed down and it's done, 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 my name is on the page, baby. I don't give a fuck if it's the first, the middle, or the last. That's right. My name is on the page. That's right. God said you come to this earth and make a mark. Because if you didn't make a mark, you ain't shit. And we ain't talking about marks in your drawers, boy. Make a mark on the world so we could talk good about you. I'm going to, go to, my, I'm going to my grave for honor. That's what I'm going to yo, spill hey, yo, you know what? When, what you, when you go to the grave with that honor, also I want you to go to, to the grave with nothing but good memories, man, of the fantastic life that you've been living before you went there. Dog. I tell my son all the time. You know what son, I'm saying? If, if God called me tomorrow... I honestly lived a great life. I made, I did better than my dad. Okay, my dad did great. But I've seen and made finances that my dad couldn't imagine his son making or, you know. And I've been places and bumping and rubbed right elbows with the right people. Right, you know? right. And I got people that's up here. Yeah. But you know what? My people that's down here, they're going to feel like this to me all day. I'm with you. I'm not. They, there's. There ain't no motherfucking. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm here. I'm split. I'm split. Star. You just a little. No. You come up here with me too, and we move alike. Right. Because there's enough room up here for all of us. But when we up here together, and you start doing this right here, that's when there's a motherfucking problem. Right. That's when there's a motherfucking problem with me. Cause I'm a no I'm tolerance you. nigga for that. I'm with you. I'm with. I, if if, I'm hey, over hey, there, hey, if you ain't eye to eye, goodbye. Yeah, I, I'm over there trying to break, make brothership because I don't really believe in friendship. Right. Okay. Okay. What you on that? I'm with brothership. I'm not with friendship. So if you doing me on Yo, some you shit like that, me some shit while I'm sitting here. Talking I'm, I'm just to saying, you, if you doing me like that, yeah. And, and, and you know, we supposed to be here together, and I brought you up here with me, and we here together, then let's stay here together. Don't try to do this. See when you try to right. do this, right? Get your fucking ass down here. Where you playing me now? Now you stay down there. Right. Now I gotta play you like that. But I don't want nobody around me. Stay down there. So guess what? You gotta go. Everybody else, we right here. Right. Because, you see, there's two things. The nigga with the ego and all the set trips, see, the ego, is, I break it down for you, it's called edging God out. That's what that is. E-G-O, edging God out. God put everybody in your life for a reason. All those people is there to help you, serve you, do you what you need. You got your manager, you got the publicist, you got this, you got that, that. That's how it's in life, period. Now you want to diss this one, you want to diss this one after they help you do this and that. You want to diss this this that. Your shit, you're going to be lonely. Your shit's not going to move. And you're wondering why. Because you disrespected everything God put in your life. And you're wondering why. See, you're not moving right. You're not, you're not being a man. You're supposed to be a man. A man's man. Yo, look. I'm supposed to be able to tell my friend when he fucking up. My friend's supposed to be able to tell me when I'm fucking up. That's brothership. Right. If my brother say, yo, go pick up those bags over there and Ray, Ray, Ray. He don't feel like I'm selling them or nothing. He go get it and come back. He could tell me the same thing and I go do it. Right. Even if we on two different levels. But to me, we're not. Sometimes I, sometime I, my buster be like, yo, why you hanging around this certain nigga? Because this nigga serve no purpose. He's nobody. Then I'd be like, bus. Once upon a time, he wasn't nobody. So I don't know why God made me meet him. But I'm going to find out. And it might be some shit where I go back to the bus and be like, yeah, you right. You right, brother. Right. Then it might be some shit, your bus. But the only that, way you're going to know is to, is to meet him and there put you yourself go. there. There you go. I'm like, I'm, I've been through all the Hollywood shit. All this. Right. I've been doing it for a long time. But I'm going to always stay a street nigga. I have to. I don't have to act street. I don't have to do street shit. But I'm a street nigga. It's just me. It's better than hey, you. Check this out. You can't change that. You could, you could take me out of the streets. But you can't take the streets out of me. 
That's I said. I you know still love saying? my I still love my friends in Nav. I still love my, my sisters in Nav from Troy Avenue. My block I grew up on. I still love people over there. I still got friends. I've known. 10, hey yo, man! Years. Shout out goes out to my man Troy Av too. <laughs> yeah, I met Troy Av one oh, time word? at the Mandalay Bay. Man, solid yeah. brother, man. He cool. I just he wanted cool. to give you that shout out, family. He word cool. up, Troy. Brooklyn all day. Um, yeah, yeah. Like I still got friends that's 20, 30, 40 wow. years, 30, 30, 40 years now. You know, right. I don't got no new friends, bro. I got people I, I, I've known for some years and put it together. My man Bilal, that's my man for years in here, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Me and DJ Cell been been good for years. Right. All the way to now we got a podcast together. We making music together. Yo, that's dope. You feel me? That's so that dope. right there, that's my brothership. This is my brothership. That's like, this is my family. I don't got no strangers around me. I don't got nobody that I could bring around and they're going to act out of pocket. I ain't moving like that around her. You know what I'm saying? Right. Buster gave me, he shared his gift with me. So I'd be damned if I devalue it. I'm with you, bro. I'd be damned if I devalue it or have anybody come to devalue it. To me, it sounds like you're one that appreciates it. I do, to the max. I have you know? to. I have and, to. And, and let me tell you something. You know what I'm saying? All of this is still coming from the power of God. All day. All day. All day. God gave Buster the power that he has to be himself, and he helped give you the power to be who you are to society. Yes, it is. You know yes, what I'm yes, saying? In yes, the whole sir. nine. He even put Buster in your life to help take care of your life. But in, but in yeah. the same token, he put you in Buster's life so you can help Buster take care of his life too. You got damn right. You know what I'm saying? One hand wash the other. My Two brother. hand wash the face. You, you know, know what I'm saying? What hey, yo, question. Uh huh. What's Yummy Girls? Yummy Girl. Yummy Girl is a woman with flavor. A woman who adds on. She don't take away. A woman all seasons, bro. She she you know she, she she like help a man build, not break it down. This is a woman of flavor, all natural. She love herself. She don't need somebody's compliments or whatever to approve who she is because she know God made her. So spiritually and physically, she will always remain yummy. All women are sexy, but only some are yummy. You just have to pick which one you are. So it's a clothing line that I'm doing, body sprays. Wow. Hair, hair okay, ties. it's a brand new clothing line that yeah, you have called yeah, Yummy Girls? Yeah, and it's spelled why you Y U M I I girls are spent G U R L Z. You know what I'm saying? So it's yummy girls. And um yes. That's dope. And, That's it, dope. It is, bro. yeah, it is. That's why I'm doing it right now with that. Yes, sir. All right, so let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. What's the paper rock? Paper rock. That's my production. And, 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 and paper rock, to me, to me, what that sounds like is like you got a stack of papers and this little windy in your office and you put that rock on the papers so that way the papers don't blow nowhere. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what I call a paper rock. Well, I'm going to keep it real. But what's For me, your, your version yeah, of paper rock? Yeah, my version of paper rock is... I don't sound crazy, do I? I'm not, Even though I am a crazy all, motherfucker, man, but I being I ain't crazy, though. Nah, you know, paper, I'm crazy, but I ain't crazy. <laughs> paper rock is. <laughs> but what's paper rock? Yeah, Paper rock is. You know, we all know what the paper is. That's the money. Right. The rock... It's something when you form with fists like this, and you hit somebody with it, that's the rock. So it's hand over fist situation. Business never personal. That's why I chose paper rock. Business never personal. Business never personal. Business, hand over fist, paper rock. When you have faith, when you, when you, when you, when you do hand over fist and you do good business, your paper rock. Okay. Period. Okay, I, I, I kind of get it. Yeah, but I know I lost you, but it's hand over fist. You period. can tell you lost me, though, right? Yes. You can I, look at me I and tell you, you lost me. Yeah, yeah, I'm a lost. I'm, 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 I'm like one of the lost boys. <laughs> this shit, you but know nah, what I'm saying? It's, it's hand over fist. You know what I'm saying? Paper Rock is hand over fist, man. It's about uh, us us doing this on a positive note, entrepreneurial way. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And it's all about the paper. It's never personal. Okay. In other words, I don't deal with egos, and that goes down not just with the music, but all the artists. You know, when you get a you get a bunch of artists. This one thing he's better than that one. This one we don't need that. 
Right. We need, right. We, we need one to teach one, each one to teach one, each one to push one to go further up. So, and if if we do it like that, all together, your paper rock, man. Your paper be going good. Money flows in. The paper rock, baby. You know what I'm saying? Yo, that's dope. Yeah. Well, check this out. I know you've been working on some some of your own strains and shit. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? In the whole nine. Tell us about your star strains, man. Yeah, I got the star strain with my partner OS from out of Minnesota and um, Calvin Fry, a doctor from out here, a cannabis doc out here. Um, we got this company called Star Strains. I'm gonna be like one of the first ones with 38, 40 percent THC flower. Wow. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, I mostly deal. I like indica. Okay. Um, one in the type of thing, and we got merch. We have the we have the trays, the grinders, CBD oils, and all this stuff that's coming. You know, if you little got a little back rub, you need the back rub. You can put this on you, and then um, also I got a product that I'm trying to bring with the star strains. Does it help? Does, does it help with like element? You know, um, pain elements yeah, that's and what all it is, of that pain stuff. Elements. And I also got a because suit. there's this other stuff that I be using called Nordic Goddess. Okay. Yeah, and it's like a cream, like you know, when my when I get that lower back pain, man, I put some of this Nordic Goddess on my back, man, and it, it helps me out a lot. Word. So is this stuff like that? Yeah, exactly. Okay. I, I hopefully, I hope it's better. Um, <laughs> I, I, me too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, and then I got these sprays. I got these sprays, even um, you know, um, Star Strain sprays. Yeah. It, well, actually, is is conjunction with my. My lady friend, her name is Mary Jane. She has a company called Mary Jane. Mary Jane. Yeah, shout out to um do, to Leah do, with her Mary do. Jane products. Yeah. Yeah, I can't. I'm sorry, um, so I'm gonna take she has a spray that she came up with and we could spray it on anything. All foods. Whatever food you want. Even people that don't eat meat and stuff like that, they can use this spray and don't have no no bad additives, none What's of that pushing it. it. Huh? What's in it? What's in well, the spray? It infuses, infuses your... It, okay. Say no more. Ah, infused. Yeah, that's right. Infused your, your food. Hey, we talking mm -hmm. about infused. So yeah. don't get confused. <laughs> you heard? Period. Period. And um, <laughs> yeah, that's what I got going on right now. So, so, so check this out. Now, back in the day, I mm -hmm. was coming out with my first solo album. Mm -hmm. And my first solo album was called it's about time, right? I see you got something here about time. About time. What is your about time? What What is that? What, what's all that about, man? Well. About time. Explain about time. <laughs> all right. Well, being in the game. It's about time you explain about time. Exactly. Ha! <laughs> well, being in the game so, so, so long, <laughs> as I've been in the game so long, um, you know, people always expected me to come with an album. You know, Buster was on there on his album, When the Strikes album, and, and it's an interlude where I, 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 I like bum rush his album and I start freestyling and shit, then I'm done. Mm -hmm. shit, then I'm done. Then Buster hop on and said, Yeah, what are you doing coming on my album? We know your shit coming out in the 90s. And then I guess the fans was waiting for that. It never came. Then I'm going to be doing some mixtapes and shit. It thought the album was coming, never came. Then, yeah, some time passed, and then we do the Mariah record. Baby, if you give it to me, I'm the first one rapping on that bitch. So they hear that. Then they hear Make It Clap with just me and Buster. They hear that. Then they hear Make It Clap remix with me, Buster, and Sean Paul. Yeah. So they now they like, oh, Spliff is definitely coming. Spliff star album still. So just Buster, Buster, Buster. Buster. And then we found um, OT Genesis. We got OT Genesis out there. Shout Yo, out I got to meet OT Genesis, yeah, man. That's, that's um, my little brother. That's my little bro. <laughs> um, I got to meet the God. I got to meet the God last week, G. I got to meet OT. I got a picture of OT Genesis. Well, yeah, was in praise. And what's with prop, prop, prop? What's the name of that club? Saw the P. P R A. Uh, 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 where was we at? Where was it was we in at? Vegas, though, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. And I met the God in Vegas, man. Word up the OT Genesis, man. And I was like, that nigga got wow, I'm in love with the coke, coke. <laughs> hey. 
I'm in love with the yeah. boat. Bo. OT definitely yeah. in this thing. Come on, man. So I, we, yo, when I met the guard, man, I went crazy. I was like a little starstruck too, man. You nah, know what I mean? OT, OT deserves it. He's a very talented artist. I was happy to have him on our team. Um, as time go on, we got the OT Genesis album out. Time going on, be 2018. We are in the studio doing the new Flip Mode album. Wow. All the members of Flip Mode is there on time. Lord have mercy, Rod Digger, Rampage, Buster Rhymes, myself, and Baby Sham. How's my girl Rod Digger, man? Oh, you know, Rod Digger is still killing shit. She I just... love me. Hey, 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 let me tell you something, man. Uh -huh. One of the realest. What? Realest Talk women in the game. Talk about it. You hear me? Talk about it. Yes, she is. Blow it up, man. Rod Digger, man. I love, I, man. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait to get her in here. Yeah, I can't wait to do a record with her one day. One of the dopest female MCs I want, yeah, I've man. Heard, I've ever heard. Um, yeah, so we going through all of that, and then next thing you know, Buster coming with a solo album <clears throat> that he just dropped. A nice, nice, a masterpiece. You know what I'm saying? Um, he just dropped a solo album. And, you know, he's about to drop another album again, and. You know, I, I, I just I just say, you know what? I believe in time. I don't give a fuck what generation it is, what year it is, what I've been. Right. I'm alive. I'm healthy. I'm still shaking and baking. You know what I mean? I still time is all we got. I, there you go, TikTok. So, you know, I'm over there. And every day I'm in the studio doing something. Right. You know, every right. day. Because I, I don't know what could be, but I don't listen to the radio. Because I'm not trying to get confused about what's this and that. I don't want to hear that shit. Well, check this out. But I'm definitely put, I'm in the studio doing things that I know nobody can deny. Let me ask you, let, let me ask you this, right? Mm -hmm. What is 29 years in the game about? Maintenance. Huh? Maintenance. Maintenance. Maintaining it. Maintaining? Maintaining. Maintenance? Maintenance, baby. Let me, let me show you something. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Explain, explain, explain more. I mean, you know, How it's many about people? maintenance. 29 years in, in How the many game. many people? What game? What game are we game. talking about? Music game. The, the rap music yes, game? Yes, the music game. Okay, because you know there's all kinds of games. Yeah, but. <laughs> that we be playing mainly out there with the police. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? And but, I ain't going to lie, but but uh -huh. any game that we play with the police, y'all got to remember one thing. Motherfucking police, oh, they playing for keeps. Oh, big fuck. <laughs> How motherfuckers playing for keeps? But, you know, all jokes aside, even in those times, the police knew me, and they knew that I was dedicated. Right. That's one, they, that's one thing they respected about me. I was dedicated. So if they, they know I was a hustler. They know who I am. They know what I do. They respected me because I was a, one of the good hustlers. Okay. I made my money and I chilled. When he came in, he did his job and he caught me slipping. I didn't give them a hard time. Right. They just doing their job. They don't got nothing against me. They just doing their job. You know what I'm saying? I no was doubt. Doing, I was doing mine. Okay. No doubt. They caught it. That's all right. Don't ask me no questions because you know I'm going to tell you I don't know. You ask me, I oh, know Haitian Jack, nigga. Of course I know Haitian Jack. Don't try to play me, cop. You know I've been living there 20 something years. Jack been living there 20 something years. You know we know each other. What Jack do, I don't know. You can't ask me what Jack and Jill is doing. I don't know. But if I know them, yeah, they live down there. Of course, you know I know them. That's the neighborhood two blocks away. I don't, don't know them. <laughs> come on, man. Don't, don't play me. I know, I'm, I know I'm a little young nigga, but come on, play me. <laughs> but I, I was always, ten, I'm a 10 toes type. Yeah. And I, I'm stand up, and that's the way it's going to be. And 29 years of this game is the, the journey that I've been with my brother, Buster Rhymes around the world. 29 years is what, I, what I've had to provide for my kids and have them in a better situation than me. Wow. 29 years is helping others and putting others on that I've sat in studio with, right? I meet people and put them, hook them up to other situations, even if they're not rappers or whatever. Mm -hmm. 29 years of just being a real dude to motherfuckers that haven't been real to me. But you know what? 
I'm not right. built like you, so I can't even do the same shit you did to me because I'm not built like you. Right. So I, 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 I forgive you. I stay out the way and I get the fuck away from you and I keep on my journey. 29 years of loving myself and knowing who the fuck I am. 29 years of blood and sweat to be where I'm at. 29 years to add on 29 fucking more. Wow. That's what 29 years is to me. Hey, yo, check this out. Back in the days, right? A man, Andre 3000. Love him. Love him. Shout out to yeah. Drake. Hey, hey, man, shout out goes out to you, <laughs> Andre 3000. My dude. Yo, uh, 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 back in the days, he had this record called I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh, mm -hmm. I am for real. Mm -hmm. Right? That was a hot ass fucking Miss Jackson record. Yes. Right? Well, let me ask you this. Now, we know about Miss Jackson. What's Mr. Jackson? <laughs> Mr. Jackson. Mix, I had the honor and the pleasure to meet Michael Jackson. Wow. And his whole entire family. Uh-huh. Reby Jackson was all natural looking, sexy, yummy, yummy. Wow. Okay. Um, Mrs. Jackson, the queen, with all the grace. Mr. Mr. Jackson, Jackson looked like, you know, smooth, pimp, daddy, you know, yep. It was a wonderful night. It was a blessing night. Um, we met Michael. We met the rest of his brothers. It was a really a celebration night for Rod Digger because Rod Digger got to perform with uh, I think Rod Digger, Rod Digger, no Rod Digger, I mean, Rod Digger and Maya Eve I think also was on that stage that night. Um, Michael, wow, is 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 a cool ass mom. Yeah. His family cool. Yeah, like people think Michael is this no. No, I always say this one thing. I always be like, Michael didn't touch no damn children. The children touched Michael. That's what happened. Right. Okay? I Get believe out of here. it. Nobody believe touched it. Michael. Michael does not into that. He has a black family, and black people, we not into that shit. If he touched any, any kids, it was through his music only. <laughs> only. I'm, I'm keeping it real with you. Black people, I guess I'm not speaking for everybody, but I'm speaking for 95%, nigga. There's certain shit we just don't fucking do. That's like right. eat people, climb right. mountains and shit, okay? Fuck animals, okay? Right. There's certain things we just don't do. Pe children, we don't do that. Right. That right there, we don't do it. If you do no, no. If you do, if you do catch a black person that did that, he's actually mentally sick. Right. There's no way he can have his common sense and do that. Right. Black people just don't do certain fucking things at all, bro. That's right. It's not, not, it's not in our nature to do it. Right. So when one of us do it, it look abnormal. It's it abnormal, and that's because they copied it off of somebody else. There you go. There you go. There you know you what go. I'm saying? There you go. You're only going to keep. Gonna be like the company you keep, baby. Yeah, that's real talk on that, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and let me tell you something. I did, I did a record called Michael Jackson. You know what I'm saying? And what I was writing about was how how, how um, Conrad Murray, you know what I'm saying, just was negligent with Michael Jackson's life. You know what I'm saying? If, if Dr. Murray wasn't so negligent with Michael Jackson's life right now, my man Michael Jackson would still be here today. You know what I'm saying? But he's not here due to negligence. I feel it was... Completely straight up negligence, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so, oh you know, no, nah, somebody. So, yeah, so nice. I wrote a record about Michael Jackson, and I even shot the video in front of the house where he passed away at, which is a few blocks from from where we are right now. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Word up. You know what I'm saying? And and to this day, man, the record still touches my heart. You know, because I do miss the King of Pop, man. Me I do too. Miss, I do miss Michael, bro. I miss Michael being, I miss hearing, I miss hearing his voice on new shit. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And the whole shit. I really miss him, bro. You know what I'm saying? Don't care. Um, Don't care. Don't care. Hey, yo, check this out, everybody. Just to let y'all know, that's right. I'm here with my boy Split Star. Split Star, flip mode in the motherfucking building. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. And you know what he did for me today? He did for me what I did for him. You know why? Because I went to him 
and I post it up. You know what I'm saying? That's and right. if y'all want to know what post up is about, I'm getting ready to let Spliff Star tell y'all right now uh -huh. about the post up. Tell them about the post, post up. up. The tell post them what Flav came and did, Spliff. Oh, yes, yeah, supposed to. Uh, the, the, the Flav of Flav, King Flav of Flav, came to my, <laughs> to, my, to my quarters today and came to my podcast, which is called The Post, with my partner, DJ Cell. And we sat there and we spoke. And my brother came and showed me love. I didn't have to go through 10 managers. I didn't have to do all this and that. We was on a thing called Real Nigga Time. That's right. And um, you're not going to find that like that, man. Everybody don't do that. Everybody don't just like to help nobody no more. They just don't. And um, today, my brother came through and showed me love on my podcast, The Post. Um, I have other... Yeah, Sages. tell everybody about the post stuff and yeah, tell them how to, how how they can find it, all of that. Okay, we all can go on IG. Um, is it sell? Say the, something. The post up T H A. The post up T H A on IG. Can that means T H A post up. No, that's right. Podcast. The post up podcast. Yes, podcast. And, and y'all can find that on IG and follow us on there. Also follow me on Spliff Star underscore Mister Lewis. Follow DJ Cell. Um, follow Mr. Make It Happen, CEO Make It Happen. Follow Heavy Early. We out here. We doing it. We entrepreneurs. We trying to do it. You know what I mean? Flow like fluid. Keep up with the building and the music. You ain't saying nothing but the truth. Let me ask you this, Spliff. Who do you listen to now today? Who Or who you ride around in your car listening to? What you listen to today? Because music is a whole lot different from yeah. when we were... When we were, were recording, you know what I'm saying? So there's a bunch of new artists yeah. out right now. Mm -hmm. Who do you like? Who do you listen to? I like Griselda. Wow. I like I like Wizkid. Wow. I like this girl named Thames. Wow. I like Summer Walker. Wow. You know what I mean? I like um, Snow Aguilera. I like... Um, wow. I like... I'm still into my reggae music. Don't play with it. You know what I'm saying? And um, these days, when it comes to rapping and stuff like that, the youngins that's doing it right now, Fabio Foreign, Lil TJ, they doing it. You know what I mean? Shout out to everybody else. The Migos, they doing it. Young Thug, all of them, they doing it, man. Shout out to everybody that's doing it right now. I'm just loving it all. And I'm loving it that I could just wake up in the morning, hear or see and smell anything. So I'm appreciated. So, so we you, you got some new music coming up now too. Yes, what I you do. Doing, what you um, doing musically, Spliff? I got this mixtape called "The Vibes of Mr. Lewis." I got the album called "About Time." Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? I just shot a video called "Make Um Makeup" out there in Minnesota. All my Minnesota boys show me mad love. My man Wig, he opened up his shop. His shop is called Just Turkey. It probably is Just Turkey near y'all. Y'all gotta go check that out. Um, and I shot it in there, shot it through the streets. My man OS, he's from Minnesota, you know, so they just rolled out the carpet for me and made it home for me. And wow, that's big. Beautiful work. As they should have. Well, As good. they should have. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because, you, hey, you deserve all that, bro. Yeah, listen, you deserve bro. all that, man. Let me tell you something, man. I mean, you worked hard in the game, bro. You Thank know you. what I'm saying? In the whole nine. And not only that, but... I mean, through your work, you've influenced a whole generation of people, bro. You know what I'm saying? With your influence alone, you know what I'm saying? In the whole nine. Um, I, 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 is there any more shows that y'all doing? You on Bust? Yeah, we got you on some. Bust the Rhymes? Y'all got more shows yeah, coming up? Yeah, we got up? some shit coming in Philly soon. We, we got, I think it's on the 26th or 28th. We'll be in Philly uh -huh. very soon. Ready to tear down the stage near you. Right. Ready what it is, but... All right now, you know, we just chilling, hitting any stage. Anybody call up, we going to tear shit down, mostly overseas and stuff like that. Um, right now, we just kick back, still waiting on an opponent, a worthy opponent for on the verses. And, um, yeah, man, you know. Hey, let me tell you something, man. When y'all performed, man, y'all did one of my most favorite records. Shout out to my boy Epitome <laughs> that did this track. Yeah. Put your hands where your eyes can see. Bow, bow, if bow, you bow, really want to party bow, with bow, me. Bow. Yeah, G, my boy Epitome, he and did that track. Sha Sha Mello. Now shout out to Epitome. Sha Mello. Sha Mello did uh, is the producer of that track. And um, 
um, Charmel, the producer of that track, one, because there's two of them that made the beat, one of them died. Wow. This year he died. God bless him and his family, Shout bro. Out, rest in peace, Charmelo. Um, it was from they lived out there in Queens. My man Fab, he had found the uh, he had found the beat, and we we took it to Buster, and you know Buster worked his magic on it. It was it's one of the biggest records of his career. Still a classic and a hit to today. Today, today. Um, that's that's right. one thing I learned about Buster. I learned from Buster, you know. To make a record that could last, you know, we don't want to be the one, one hit wonder. You don't want to be your record just popping for a year or two, and then next year you don't hear shit about it. We don't want to do that. Um, yesterday, I'm, I'm in the, where I was in the car. I think I'm in the car with my man O. And um, I'm in, my, I'm in the car with my man O. And the biggest song of my career and Buster's career, ain't that some shit? The song, the biggest song of Busta Rhymes' career and my career. Was what? We did it together and was, baby, if you give it to me. I'm, that shit was baby, Mariah Carey. I'm gonna do you. I'm gonna do what you want. You know, I'm I got it. Yeah. I'll give it to me. That's the, know you want. Yeah, that's the biggest record of his career and mine. <laughs> Shout out to Rick Rock. <laughs> <on the beats. laughs> I love that guitar part in there too. Yeah, Come on, man. man. Come on. Hey. Yeah, man. Hey, yo, so Rick check Rock, this man. out, right? Yeah. On the wrap up, G. On the wrap up. Uh. Now, let me tell you something, man. I don't give a fuck what nobody say, bro. Like I said, one of the Realest niggas in the game, bro. The realest people in this whole rap music industry, bro. You know what I'm saying? You're very humble, man. Thank you, man. You know what I'm saying? In the whole nine. And I mean, the world can't help but love Spliff Star. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Before we go, Spliff, mm -hmm. is there anything you want the world to know about Spliff Star? Know that. I don't sell dreams, but I'm always there to help. I'm always there to support. If I say I'm your man, I'm your man. You don't gotta think twice. I don't steal from my friends, I don't do fuckboy shit. So, saying all of that to say this, it's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. That's it. Wow, my dude. And one more thing. Everything and anything that you doing, that you want to promote, put it out there right now. Everything and anything. Everything, All right. everything. Make sure y'all follow me on Spliffstar underscore Mr. Lewis. You have updates on when new mixtape is dropping. It's called The Vibes of Mr. Lewis. Production by my in-house team. Also by Day One, DJ Cell. Features, Fabio Foreign. Dragon, uh, BD Man, uh, and a lot of other people that I don't want to let out yet. But I got to Mangus, and I think I did better than people's expectations. You know what I'm saying? And this is what they're going. So y'all follow me on that. I mostly, I got the Twitter and all of that too, but Instagram is where I'm at. Spliff Star underscore Mr. Lewis. Follow me over there. Get with the program. See what's going on. Follow my Star Strains also. They go to Star Strains Cannabis. Follow that. See what we're doing. It's going down. Did you give out your IG, your Twitter, and all that? That's what I just did. Yes. Hey, yo, check this out. I just want to make sure I cover all your bases, bro. <laughs> you know what thank I'm you, saying? You. you know why? Yeah. Because all your bases deserves and need to be covered, bro. Thank you. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Split Star, thank you so much, bro, thank man. You, Flay. For coming thank by you. my for coming by my spot. Oh, and hey, and before I go, uh I got to I got to give you my book, man. Oh, Flay, I wrote a book, a man. Flavor Flav the Icon oh, look at that, the memoirs. Look at that. I want you to check it out. I want you to check out my book. I'm gonna sign it for you. Everything in that book, bro. I'm telling you, mm. everything that's in that book right now, it's true. Nothing fabricated. Nothing. I just want you to know that. It's all real. 
You know what I'm saying? So I want you to check my book out, man. But it's an honor for me to be able to give you my book, man. I want you to check so it much. out whenever you get a chance, thank okay? Thank you so much, Flip. Thank you so much, man. Once again, Flip yeah, Stopper. No doubt. Blessing my studio, man, with your presence, hey, man. Bye, you know what I'm saying? Man. I'm going to tell you something, man. Uh -huh. This shit ain't small to me, bro. This shit is big. It's vice versa. That's what you know. Shit man. is big. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> big you to being me to be here with you. in my studio, man, this is big. Thank you so much for coming, Thank man. You, Flair. Everybody in the place to be from the bottom yeah. to the T.O.P. <laughs> my man Spliff Star, yeah. Flip Mode. Yeah, boy. Yeah. This concludes another episode of the Flavor Flav Show. Original podcast. All right? Y'all hold it down. See y'all later.